I want you all to say hello to my little friend. Hey, 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 how's it going, do it yourselfers? So by popular demand, today I'm gonna to do a review on my newly acquired DeWalt quarter inch impact gun. Now for those of you that are really interested in unboxing videos, here's a quick one. Here's the box, here's the tool, a belt clip, the manual, and the empty box again. Now when you go to buy this, you're gonna have the option of buying the tool only or buying a kit that includes the tool, a battery charger, and a battery. Now obviously I bought the tool only because I already have a bunch of DeWalt batteries and actually, full disclosure, I am biased towards DeWalt products. Don't believe me, let me show you. Here's the half inch impact gun that I bought three years ago and did a video review on. If you're wondering, it has held up well, I still recommend it. Here's my DeWalt chainsaw, my circular saw, angle grinder, nailer, DeWalt battery powered string trimmer, and here's my hitch trimmer. There's more, but I think you get the picture. Now if you don't have any DeWalt batteries, I recommend you buy the five amp hour battery instead of the cheaper, smaller two amp hour battery, because obviously it lasts longer. Uh, you, you can finish the job without having to recharge it. Or even better yet, get two of these if you can afford it. So you can have one on the charger and one on the tool. So when one runs out, you can swap it out and don't have any downtime. And here's a look at the charging station for these batteries. And here's another cool feature on these batteries. See this battery button? When you press this, you get these three LED lights, letting you know exactly how much charge still remains in the battery. Now as far as how long it takes to completely recharge one of these five amp hour batteries, my experience takes about hour and 15 to hour and 30 minutes. And before I forget, if you end up being interested in this quarter inch impact gun, or the batteries, or the half inch impact gun, or in fact any of the other DeWalt tools that I showed earlier, I'll put links to where you can buy them down below in the description box. Also links uh, in the comments section as well. You can click on them and check them out for yourself. All right, so back to the tool and some general specifications. This tool, as you can see, measures about eight inches tall, about five and a half inches wide, and about two and three quarter inches deep. Hopefully you can see it on this ruler. And without a battery, it weighs almost exactly two pounds. And if you were to use it with a five amp hour battery, it would weigh almost exactly three pounds. So one pound for the five amp hour battery, two pounds for the tool itself. As you can see, this tool has three speed settings that can be adjusted right here. And the maximum speed you can get is 3,250 RPMs. And you can adjust the speed for each setting through the trigger. This is a variable speed trigger. So we got on the setting number one. Here's setting number two. And here's setting number three. And another nice feature is got three LED lights right here. This is probably the best placement for these, as opposed to the half inch one where the LED light is down here. All right, so this is a lightweight and fairly compact quarter inch impact gun with good speed. But the main question is how much power this thing has. The manufacturer says that in the first setting, this thing can produce 20 foot pounds of torque. In the second setting, it can produce 125 foot pounds of torque. And in the, set, in the third setting, it can produce 152 foot-pounds of torque. So the maximum torque for this is 152 foot-pounds of torque, which is really good for a quarter-inch impact gun. But let's put it to the test. Now I'm going to be using the bolts on this engine, whether this camshaft bolts or the cylinder head bolts, uh, to try to test this. But keep in mind, the breakaway torque is going to be different from the torque I just gave you, but we're going to try to figure those out as well. Oh yeah, something else you'll need in order to be able to use all, all the sockets you have with this impact gun is these uh, drivers, these adapters. This is a 3 8 one, but they also come in a quarter inch, obviously, and a half inch. Again, link below down in the description. For now, we're going to try to remove this camshaft bolt. Nope, not gonna come off, but I'm not surprised. All right, next we'll remove this and then try tightening it down with the different settings on the impact gun and see how tight we can get it. All right, nice and loose. So we go back to the first setting, and try to tighten this down. Now to clarify, when the manufacturer says 152 maximum torque or in the first setting, 20 foot-pounds of torque, it doesn't mean every, every bolt that you try to tighten down is gonna be tightened down to 20 foot pounds of torque. But we're gonna to try to find out on this bolt, which is probably like a, you know, common bolt size on cars. All right. <laughs> I would say that's about three foot pounds of torque we got on the first setting on this bolt. All right, just and giggles, let's measure this. This is my 
quarter inch torque wrench. I got it set to 48 inch pounds. In other words, four foot pounds of torque. Let's see if this thing twists. It means we're less than that. So, yep. I could see it, it twisted a little bit, so we're actually probably like three foot pounds of torque in the first setting. All right, setting number two. So this supposedly goes from 20 for the first setting to 125 foot pounds of torque. So it should be a huge difference. Yep, that was a lot of difference. So my torque wrench again, I got this one set to 15 foot pounds. Let's see if it can move this bolt. Now you could mark this bolt in relation to the camshaft, see if it moves, but I'm just gonna keep a very close eye on it. Not even close. Let's bump this up to 25. Nope, 35. Nope, we're getting close. 40, okay, it's moving. All right, so in the second setting, it was able to torque this bolt down to about 35 to 40 foot-pounds, let's say 37 foot-pounds. That's pretty good. And that's only in the second setting. Now let's try to remove it. It should be able to remove it. We'll see. This is again in the second setting. Yep, no problemo. All right, let's put it in the third setting and try to do this again. Do not worry about this bolt, this camshaft, this cylinder head, this engine is only for demonstration purposes only. All right, just in case, let's try the 40 foot-pounds setting on this torque wrench first. Oh, it moves. Yep, it moves. So that shouldn't come as a complete surprise because according to the manufacturer's specifications, second setting had 120 foot-pounds of torque. The third setting was 152 foot-pounds of torque. So not a huge jump. And of course, there are variables and limitations. So as far as we're concerned on a bolt size like this, we were able to tighten it to about 37 foot-pounds of torque. But now let's try to see how much we can uh, remove or what, what's the breakaway torque on this. All right, so first we'll tighten this bolt down to 50 foot-pounds of torque and try it. There we go, let's see. Yeah, it struggled, struggled quite a bit actually, but it got it. All right, so just to review our numbers, the maximum torque we were able to get tightening this camshaft bolt down was about 37 foot-pounds of torque and the removal torque or the breakaway torque that we were able to produce out of this thing was about 50 foot-pounds of torque. Now the main way you're going to be using a quarter inch impact gun is to remove small bolts and fasteners but the, the main objective will be like let's say we were replacing this camshaft and we were reinstalling it we would put the camshaft and then run down all you know going from the center out obviously run down all these bolts with this quarter inch impact gun and then once they start tightening you would get your torque wrench and torque them down to manufacture torque specifications. Again, links down below if you're interested. And in fact, if you're interested in any of my tools that you see me use in my videos, go ahead and leave a comment down below if you want to see a video review on them and I try to make a video on, on that tool. But until then, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you're notified of my new videos that will be coming out. And if you want to help me even further, check out these other videos. I'll put links to them on this side of the screen. Again, links down below in the description box as well. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.